What's up YouTube, my name is Uma, welcome to Trending Reviews. Um, so today I'm going to be giving you a quick review and setup guide on this bad boy, which is the Manfrotto uh, two section arm clamp. Um, and it's mainly used for cameras to get a bird's eye angle uh, or desk shot um, of your video recordings um, or whatever you're trying to showcase. Um, it's pretty small, um, quite heavy, which means it's quite durable as well. Um, but it comes with a two section arm uh, bracket and clamp uh, so that you can set it up on any desk uh, which could fit inside uh, the clamp arm here. So I'm just going to give you a quick demo on how to set this up. It's a bit flimsy at the moment and there's a lot of uh, knobs that you have to turn. Uh, so let me just give you a quick demonstration uh, and see how sturdy it actually is. Okay, so I'm going to be setting up this clamp uh, on the tabletop here. So you just take the, uh, the clamp bit at the bottom there, uh, you just push it in and then here you just tighten it up so that it doesn't start being uh, a little bit fiddly or starts to move around. There you go, you really tighten it. So that's locked in position. Now ideally you want to get this at maximum height. Um, so this is just moving up and down the first arm here uh, and you tighten the height of that with the, uh, the turn knob here on the right hand side um, but of course before you do that you position the second arm how high you want it and you tilt it like so. Now coming back uh, to the second arm there's a knob here at the top this allows you to uh, shift the actual camera stand left and right. So whichever way you want to face it, uh, let's face it this way. I'll tighten it like so. Um, and then from here, you can adjust the actual angle of uh, the camera stand here. So I can tilt that and then tighten that as well. From the bottom one, you can twist it left and right, whichever angle you prefer. So let's get it straight like this. And I'll tilt this one this way. And tighten that. So now I have this facing that way um, and I can place a camera on top um, and either I can point it at this angle, or if you wanted to, you can take this off. It takes the, uh, the universal screw that you find at the bottom of uh, uh, camcorders, SLRs and so on. So you can screw that on. And alternatively, you can turn it the other way around and face it downwards, which will give you a bird's eye view that you see on a lot of uh, review videos facing towards the tabletop so your hand movements are on the table uh, with the uh, equipment or the gadgets and the camera underneath is actually facing downwards like this. It's pretty sturdy, I use it for most of my videos um, and I've got a really heavy SLR camera that is attached to the bottom facing downwards with a light on top of the camera as well for added weight um, and still there was no problems, it's still strong, it doesn't tend to move. Just make sure you lock it tight um, and keep it in place, make the adjustments, and I think you have some really great videos. The only downside, I think, is that it's not tall enough. Um, ideally, I would like to have maybe a third arm that makes it a little bit higher, because sometimes it could be a little bit too close to the table. Um, so it's really good for um, getting shots maybe along the table for someone sitting right at the end. Um, but generally, I think it's a good start. Uh, it's great for beginners um, and I do recommend um, anyone that wants to record videos, uh, POV shots, um, or just having a stand in general uh, to put your SLR camera on, um, especially if you have desks or tables wherever you shoot your videos. Uh, it's just very convenient. So if you like the review, uh, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments on this arm or any comments in general, please do leave a, a comment below. Um, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.